there, my friends and recovery family. How the heck are you? Today, I would like to bring to you a editorial that I put together here at 12 Steps with the Monkey Man called I Will Not Be Camouflaged. <laughs> Do you ever feel like you want to hide from something you really ought to confront? You would rather blend in than deal with reality? I do. I remember when I was in junior high school in Petaluma, California. During PE class, when teams were being picked, I would always try and blend in with the other guys because I knew I was going to be picked last. I just didn't want one of them to see me. When I was in class and the teacher looked around the, the room for someone to call upon to come to the chalkboard and answer a question, especially if it was math, I would hide behind the person at the desk in front of me, praying that the teacher wouldn't notice me. When she called on someone else, it was like the hand of death had passed over me, giving me one more day to live. But if she did call on me, I felt sick and almost always blew it. Well, today as a recovered alcoholic and narcotic addict, I don't seem to blend in very well. My church loves me and all the other addicts that attend, but we do tend to stand out. I guess we just look weird or something. I stand out on my family. I have an uncle who thinks I'm a lost cause and would really rather not even speak to me. <laughs> Few of my in-laws simply put up with me, but uh, because of my past behaviors, they will never be able to see past the old Monty. In meetings, I tend to be the animated one. I couldn't blend in if I wanted to. However, there are still times I wish I could. When I'm in the presence of people I have never met before, or when I go to an out-of-state 12-step meeting, or when I say something and stick my foot in my mouth, <laughs> boy, do I ever want to blend in at those times. The fact is, we all want to retreat at times, and, and that's okay, as long as we don't stay there too long. <laughs> the important thing to know here is we are beautiful people. God created us in the image, in His image, and he doesn't make mistakes. We are to be examples of godly people. But when we blow it, and, well, <laughs> so be it. People look, listen, and wait for us to mess up all the time. And people look, listen, and wait for us to make the next right move all the time as well. We are who we are, and that's nothing to be ashamed of or try to hide from. So the next time your lack of self-worth tells you to blend in, stand up and shout to the world, I am unique. There is only one me. I am just the way God made me, and if you don't like me, take it up with God, because what you think about me is really none of my business. I am a worthwhile person, and I refuse to blend in. I will stand out and sing to the world that I am one of the king's kids. I will not be camouflaged. No. There are hurting people out there just waiting for you to stand out so that they can experience your experience, your strength, and your hope. Please don't hide from them. Don't blend in. You are unique, and we need you. God, when I feel like hiding, ashamed, or just plain fearful of what others may think of me, please remind me with a gentle hand that what you think of me is what is really important. And because it is in your nature to love your creation, you love me just the way I am, character defects and all. Help me to see myself through your eyes and not the eyes of the world. Amen. Well, my friends, until our next broadcast, meditorial 12 Steps with the Monty Man, this is the Monty Man. I'm wishing God's perfect serenity for you.